I feel like I'm getting sick. Oh crap now. <laughs> Forgot I skinned animals. Oh, piss off then. Sorry for swearing, but still. Let's go and wash up. Ah, gold. <laughs> That's funny as heck. Let me just get that a bit more uh of an uh Right, watch this. I can see my boobies! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, simple things, please, simple minds, eh? Right, anyway, um, <laughs> sorry about that, I just thought, you know, show that while it's right there. Instead of making, like, a sort of a whole series about my boobs in game. Anyway, pretty much, um, let me equip my stuff back here. There, there, and there. Right. I don't mind washing in clothes for, but oh well. Yeah, come on, wash me clean, there we go, thank you. Right. What the hell am I doing? Over there, right. I don't know why the wooden panel isn't working with the slats. Maybe it's... No, it is definitely... Um, 12 slats. I know that much. For the actual cupboard. I'm trying to make a cupboard to store my ingredients in. It really seems like the appropriate place to store ingre ingredients and potions, right? Let's see, let's get my wooden panel back out. There. And slat. There. That should be bloody working. Right, I think the way I fixed this before and without even realising is I put like say another I don't know, let's just put three down for a second. No, the wooden panel seems to be glitched because it's gl glowing green for whatever damn reason. No, I can't even pick it up now, what the hell? Alright, that's weird. Okay, I think I've glitched my game out. <laughs> This one more time. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Fine. I'm gonna restart the game quickly, and yeah. Be right back. Crap it now. Alright, and we're back. I'm pretty much. I'm gonna see if this is still glitched quickly. Okay, that seems to have picked up now. I need to put this and this down to there. Put these wooden slats onto it. There. Yay! Did it! Right, so, a tip I think I should give to anyone that I basically just learned right now is if you're going to have anything sort of like laying around, for example, crafting boards and even wooden panels, or wood panels rather, if you're gonna have them on the ground, make sure you can use them right away, because I think if something's left on the ground, like for any length of time, like a crafting board, cutting board, tailoring board, fletching board, or wooden panels, pole supports, etc. 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 I think they'll eventually glitch out. Like for example, my wooden panels were staying there for quite a while, weren't they? And they somehow glitched out, both of them at one point. The first one seemed to be okay at, like, after a few minutes, but I uh, you know, and after a crash, but the second one just completely glitched out completely to the point where I had to restart the game to fix it. And sometimes with very major glitches, restarting the game won't even work. You would need to do something more major, which I can't really be able to explain it right now, but I may do in the future if I come across that problem. And I pretty much guarantee I will eventually. Depends if I'm still recording videos of this save game at that point. But oh well, I probably will be. Right, let's actually place my cupboard and then we'll end this so far session. Session so far, sorry. So I need to put it right. If I could probably move that over to the left a bit. Stuff it, let's keep it sitting. This cupboard. Cupboard, cupboard, cupboard. Two. How's it? Cupboard. Cupboard, please, sir. There we go. Damn it. Damn you. Bloody thing. Right. <laughs> I'm lifting a bloody cupboard quite easy for a woman. <laughs> anyway, let's move this over to here a bit. Move this over to. Oh, crap. Move to there. Need to move this slightly over to the box. In fact, to move in front of that peg to make sure it's not clipping through it. I'm a very big fan of immersion in game lore. For Oblivion, there's a lot of game lore and it's very interesting in my opinion, but if I get really extreme with this, such as if this fire blake's uh, sorry, if this firewood box was actually through that peg or even on top of it, I would like it. I'd have to move the firewood box. Which means taking everything out of it, place it on the ground, replacing the firebox, and then putting it all back in, which could take quite a while. Luckily I don't have to do that though, right? So that's pretty much a place this right there. There we go. Lovely. So now I got all that done, I can place all my ingredients into there. <coughs> Excuse me. All the ash as well. Lovely. 
I did wash up, didn't I? I checked out with my diseases in the second see if I got disease or not. Place all my ingredients in here. I'm gonna free up a lot of inventory, uh, sorry, encumbrance value with this. There we go. Right. So I'll pull this in here as well. Actually, no, I want the potions of healing out. And potions of sorcery. Yay! Right, there we go. So, what I might do is enable a mod I've had for quite a while, I just haven't used in ages, because it's quite buggy, especially if you have deadly reflex enabled, which for this save game, I don't. It's basically a life after death mod, meaning that if you die, you respawn at your recently placed respawn point. So, you can place a respawn point via a spell, but I'll get onto that eventually. In fact, I'll enable that mod for the next session that I play with this. So, so far, I'm pretty much done with this uh, session, and I'm going to sit down, eat my dinner. I should not have dinner on me. Fine, I'll just sit down, like a lady. <laughs> sit like a lady! And I'm now going to just literally, you know, edit these videos and put them in Sony Vegas and that'll be about it. And then I'll uh, carry on with the session. <laughs> I'm sitting on the fire. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> Graphical glitches for the win. And for the loss. Pretty much I'm going to go and put these, vid uh, vid the, damn it, put these videos in Sony Vegas, render them, upload them, and then I'll, after, edit, uh, sorry, after rendering, I'll then continue on to session two. Which we'll be looking at more intensive hunting, and hopefully level up as well. And we'll also look at mining, if I can get a pickaxe, but I'm pretty sure I can. But we'll look at mining and the best sort of caves to go to that I'll learn alongside you lot while I'm doing it. And also, the probably session 3, if not part way through session 2, I will look at smithing. Session 2 will probably be just mining and hunting. Let's put it that way. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video if you have to this point, guys and girls. This is Rig signing off, and hope you all enjoyed this video. Take care, and adios for now. Bye-bye.